Welcome to the installation video of the Ares Action Track powered running boards on a Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited. To begin, identify the three mounting locations underneath the vehicle on the passenger side, as shown here. Identify each bracket as they are specific to a certain mounting location. Starting with the front mounting points on the passenger side, attach the corresponding bracket to the frame of the vehicle with the included hex bolt, quarter inch flat washers, and nylock nuts. Next, apply the included anti-seize lubricant to the 5 16 inch bolt with flat washer and install the hardware as well. Do not fully tighten at this time. Repeat this process for the middle and rear passenger side brackets. After the brackets are in place, lay the passenger side running board upside down on a flat surface. Insert three of the included T-rails into the slots. Space out the T-rails along the board positioning them as close to their corresponding bracket locations as possible. Lift the board into position. The top of the board has a lip that will rest on top of the bracket. Slide each T-rail along the board to line up with the brackets, and then lower the running board into place. To secure the board, attach the front bracket with the included flat washers and nylock nuts. Repeat this process for the remaining brackets. Do not fully tighten the hardware at this time. Before securing the rear mounting bracket, attach the LED light bracket over the rearmost T-rail stud facing towards the front of the vehicle. After the brackets have been attached, adjust the board to the desired location. Torque the hardware, beginning with the board to the brackets, followed by the vehicle connections. Repeat this process on the driver's side. To begin the wiring process, trim will need to be removed. To do this, locate the three plastic fasteners located here in the front on the driver's side. With the trim removal tool, dislodge the head of each fastener and gently pull up, taking care not to damage any of the plastic parts. Remove the two plastic fasteners located here behind the driver's seat in the same way. To remove this trim, it may be easier to move the driver's seat all the way to the front for better access. Gently pull out on the trim to dislodge, taking care not to damage any of the locking tabs. Move the driver's seat all the way to the rear to complete this process. To prepare the wiring harness, remove the fuse located on the smaller portion of the wiring harness. It also may be helpful to lay out the harness as shown, and identify the eight quick plugs using the included wiring harness diagram. The wires attached to each quick plug are color-coded. Attach the smaller portion of the wiring harness with the removed fuse to the battery. To do this, uninstall the nuts on the negative and positive battery posts. Then. Place the eyelets of each wire onto the corresponding posts. Reinstall the nuts to secure the wires. Next, the harness will be routed across the engine compartment from the battery on the left side against the firewall to the access point on the driver's side. Route the wire through the port in the firewall and feed it into the cab of the vehicle. Once this wire is routed into the desired location, Zip tie it into place, making sure that it does not interfere with any other wires in the engine bay or steering column. Next, feed the larger portion of the wiring harness underneath the carpet from the passenger side over to the driver's side. Continue to feed the power wire and orange and yellow sensor wire to the front of the vehicle underneath the carpet here as well. Repeat this process on the passenger side with a gray and green sensor wire. Behind the driver's seat, Lift the carpet, locate, and remove the rubber grommet. Using a utility knife, carefully make a slit for the wires to pass through. Feed the red and black driver rear actuator and brown and tan LED light wires through the floor plug hole. Repeat this process on the passenger side with the red and black passenger rear actuator and the pink and tan LED light wires. 
on the driver's side, connect the rear red and black actuator wire connector to the orange and yellow wire connector from the board. Mount the LED light to the tab on the back bracket. Plug the LED light wire connector into the brown and tan wire connector. Pull any excess wire up through the vehicle's cap through the previously altered rubber plug in the floor. Cover these wires with the included wire loom for extra protection and a finished look. Repeat this process on the passenger side. Next, locate a suitable mounting location for the power switch on the dashboard. We recommend here on the left of the steering wheel. Drill into the dashboard at the 3 quarter inch bit, being mindful of what you drill into and what is behind it. Remove the trim on the side of the dashboard before routing the wire up and through the previously drilled hole. Connect the switch to the wire, being sure to plug the red wires into the silver ends and the black wire into the bronze end. Pull the wires back through the dash and press the switch to seat it into the drilled mounting hole. Locate a ground screw to attach the black ground wire. Loosen the screw and attach the eyelet before retightening. Once all the wiring has been installed, plug in the circuit board and mount it in a location that will avoid the wires from getting pinched by any moving parts. Near the driver's side front door, attach the two wiring harnesses. Reinstall the fuse. With the power connected, attach the door sensors. While attaching and testing the sensors and magnets, only plug in one sensor at a time on each side of the vehicle to test for functionality. Locate a desired location for the sensor and wipe the area and the sensor with an alcohol wipe. Then mount the sensor with the included double-sided tape and connect the sensor wire to the harness. Temporarily mount the magnet onto the door and check the alignment with the sensors. Adjust the magnet as needed and mount it to the vehicle with the included double-sided tape. Repeat this process for the remaining doors. When all boards are functioning properly, reinstall the previously removed trim, carpet, or any other items previously removed. Congratulations on the installation of your brand new Ares Action Track powered running boards on a Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited. For more information on this and other great products, visit our website at ariesautomotive.com.